you can put a guy off. Yeah, you can. Uh, no, you can't. And let me give you some evidence to support my theory, okay? Case study, I'm going to use my boyfriend because it's easy. So when we first met, um, very soon into the relationship and into dating, I started, not intentionally, but I couldn't help it. I was doing things that I, I considered potentially icky. So like I wasn't polished every day. I was a bit of a chaotic mess at that stage of our relationship. I was, I had anxiety. On our second date, I had a panic attack. <laughs> Like we were at a festival trying to leave and I hate crowds and I get claustrophobic and I had a full blown panic attack. This guy barely knew me, but I, I was just like having a panic attack. Like I couldn't help it. And I now say to him, wow, like, was that not slightly jarring? Did that not like put you off? No, no, guys make the decision quickly that they like you. So it didn't matter what I said. It didn't matter what I did. He was in it. It was fine. He was into it. I couldn't put him off. Fast forward a year later, still, relatively early into a long-term relationship, I slipped my disc and I was a crippled mess and I couldn't walk. I could not walk. He took time off work to basically be my carer. He had to shower me. He had to take me to the bathroom. He had to do everything for me. And I was not, oh, I was not looking cute. No, 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 no. I felt disgusting every day. Like it was horrendous. I felt gross. I was anxious. I was crying. It was awful. I couldn't walk. I was in pain. I was an absolute mess. I felt icky. And I swear to you, I couldn't, it was impossible for me to give him the ick. He was like, you know what? It doesn't make a difference. I still love you. I'm not going anywhere. I like you. Like that is just how it works. And I just honestly think the whole ick thing, that's a separate topic, but I just don't think men work that way. I just don't. I think when they like a woman, they like a woman, they're decisive. They just, they're set on it. That's it. End of story, full stop. Yeah, for us, there's loads of ifs and buts. Oh, I like him, but he did this and now I'm not sure and blah, blah, blah. Let's talk about it and think about it for five weeks. Guys just don't really work like that. And I think that's such a good thing because it means that you cannot mess up something with the guy that is right for you. It is impossible. So don't waste time trying to change or modify your behavior or alter things about yourself in the attempt of impressing him. Because there's no point. You don't need to. It's great. You don't need to. Don't be ridiculous. Okay, so this is my roommate, Kelly. Get in here. <laughs> she is also on the apps, and she came up with a really good, or you saw some kind of hack that someone used for better responses in your prompts. So it is, the best way to ask me out is by sending an email with a date proposal with your email address. And she's had some inquiries, so we're going to read them. Hey Kelly, I came across your profile on Hinge and I feel like we should definitely go out. I propose we take a salsa class together before heading to dinner to Matilde Bistro where we can exchange our travel stories. Ah, Ben Toile. That's not a bad one. I actually don't think it's a bad one. I won't be going. <laughs> Next up, we have Hinge Admirer. Dear Kelly, I found your profile on Hinge standouts and rather than spend the money on a rose to send a message, I would have figured, <laughs> figured I would write to you an email to give you a treat instead. It's Which funny. of the following would you rather do? A, meet at a coffee shop to get something followed by a hike. B, meet at Dolores Park to get to know each other. C, my treat at your deli. I do love ice cream. P.S. Let me know your thoughts. If you cannot decide, let me know. I would be happy to make a decision. Also, my IG <laughs> handle is blank. If you want to take a look at who's writing me this obscure random message to you, Rolf. DM me if you're open to A, B, or C, or just want to get to know me. So I feel like he, he did too much. Too much. Way too much. We like a man that has a plan and a backup plan, but that too. Last but not least, we have Hinge Proposal. I get free Disneyland tickets for working on Star Wars video games at blank. Let's go this weekend. Background check, his LinkedIn. Show them. Oh, don't, yeah, sorry, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> so Rest of my existence check his Instagram. He, he made a, he put a link to his background check. So talk about doing the, the due diligence there. Doing the most. I will not be going to Disney either. <laughs> <laughs> that's by the way, it's not close to us at all. So no. <laughs> not exactly an ideal first date. No, we're not driving <laughs> flying there. We're going to vote on student number one, two or three. No one. 
Okay. <laughs> and this okay. is why I don't date. I think one was good, sweet, to the point. We had an activity and drinks in there, which I like. Disneyland, that's a little too much for a first date. We don't know. We don't know you like that. And what was the other one? Salsa. The A B C D B A B C D F G. Too much. Too much. Too much. Too much. The you most. can't even remember. Yeah. Women. This video proves that men have become more understanding and considerate compared to most women, especially from the West. The reason why he stuck around during her panic attack and her slipped disc is because he cared about her. But this woman makes it clear that if a man went through those things, she would see it as an ick and probably would have dumped him. She does not deserve him and the majority of women out there don't deserve you. Always remember that. So in the end, it doesn't work for her to get dates or to find a guy she really likes. It only works for her to get extra attention. The guy wastes his time copying her email to send a well thought out message to only get ignored and teased online on one of her TikTok videos. This is the goal for the majority of women on dating apps these days. They are not looking for relationships, they are looking for a boost to their egos and something to gossip with their friends about. If men laughed and joked about women in this way, it would be met with all types of language to shame men. This is how women prove to us that dating them is not worth it and taking them out is not worth it but they still complain to men about it, as if they are innocent. Until they're found guilty. Guilty, 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 guilty! Real men of genius.